The last stop on our baking tour before we get in the kitchen is here in St. Louis at Cortex, the city's innovation hub. We're gonna get behind the scenes at AB Maori. We're a baking technology company, and a lot of people don't know who we are by name, but they have to know that we're in the products that they eat every day, from bread, buns, and rolls, to sweet goods, to artisan grains, and so on and so forth. And we're talking from the largest baker in the United States, all the way to the delivery pizza that you get at your door. For AB Maori North America, we've got several locations, but we're here in St. Louis in the Baking Hub. And what goes on here is a lot of baking technology. We've got food scientists, we've got baking technologists who work with our customers every day and work on new solutions. We've got areas where you can mix dough, areas where you can proof that dough before it gets ready to get baked. We've got different styles of ovens. It's really meant to mimic what happens in a larger bakery. So now I'm going to get my hands dirty with Scott. He's gonna show me how to make a loaf of uh, wheat bread. Yes, so we have our whole grain wheat flour right here. And basically we're gonna do a big batch. We're gonna do 3,000 grams to the three kilo dough. When you are developing something for a specific client, how do you start experimenting on their behalf? So we take a look at their product first, and we have enough knowledge in the baking industry that we can look at a product and know a good generalization of the formula, and we can get close. If a customer is willing to work with us, they will occasionally share their formula. Obviously, everything's very proprietary, and we keep that internal, and we use it, and then we get rid of it. Oh, interesting. Um, so Top secret. Absolutely. We're really focused on the customer. If they're willing to work with us, we're going to work with them. I've done some baking at home, but never on this kind of a scale. So how much of the yeast? 50 grams. So this is something that you guys have developed that you could do same day baking? Absolutely. Same? So instead of having the mother sour or doing a poolish or a levain overnight, those are just things that ferment for a really long time. The wheat germ ferment does the same thing, except it's been done ahead of time, stabilized, and you can just add it and get that flavor. And also it affects the crumb and the crust and everything. And it makes just a really good product with uh, not as much time devoted to it. How interesting. So how much of this? 100 grams. Okay. So is this a particular kind of mixer? Yeah, so this is called a spiral mixer. This is a good kneading action for artisanal breads. Nice. All right, so first thing is just dump this in. We close the lid, hit the on button. Okay. Just pour the water in slowly. All righty. And then once the water starts hydrating the flour, then it'll kick it up to second speed and start kneading it really good. Oh, that looks beautiful. We're gonna let it rest in a bin for okay. a couple hours and then we'll form it and proof it and bake it. And then eat it, that's the best part. So while the wheat dough is resting, we are going to make some baguettes with a white dough this time. This is the gorgeous result of the art and the science of baking. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. Companion is a 23-year-old uh, specialty bakery here in St. Louis, and we have been primarily a fresh bakery for most of our existence, but about 10 years ago, we started dabbling regionally in some frozen breads to try to get some product to Columbia and Kansas City and Springfield, Illinois, and that business for us has kind of grown exponentially, and our opportunity for personal and professional growth for our companions is to grow the business outside of St. Louis, and so as that frozen business has picked up, we've needed some specialty ingredients and some things a little bit outside of our technical knowledge of baking.
And so now I'm here with Josh at the actual Companion Bakehouse. And where exactly are we? We're in West St. Louis, <laughs> Maryland Heights. So 22 years ago, you launched Companion. So tell me where you started from and where you think that you're going. We opened the bakery and we knew how to make like five things. I mean, we really had no business opening a bakery. And so from those five hearth breads, we just sort of waited and listened to our customers. My grandfather told me a long time ago to shut up and listen and your customers will teach you how to be successful. And we sort of have always kind of taken that approach that we don't say no to anything. We say, sure, we'll take a look at it. Um, and we go back and we tweak and we figure out if that's a product that works for them. And it's kind of allowed us to expand the business. And um, a handful of years ago, we started producing frozen bread and that has really kind of parlayed into where the future is for us. And so that is where a company like ABMari kind of steps in because your expertise is in hand making, you know, breads with very, very few ingredients and kind of ushering the process through from beginning to end and then like you say, delivering. But when you're talking about frozen products, isn't it a different approach and is that why you reached out to them? Well, it's a little bit of a different approach. I mean, in, in the end, freezing is wonderful technology. It really just stops the process and allows that bread to have that shelf life. But there's different kinds of yeast to use and there's just different ways to mix and different approaches to the process that they have had tremendous experience with and they've been very helpful kind of in those conversations. When you realize you have a customer who wants you know, an all natural, really good quality sandwich bread, but they need it to work for more than a day, then we have to start looking at some of those opportunities and some of those ingredients. And AB Maori's been terrific. So they're really trying to help us figure out how to deliver the best product that we want to deliver and that we can. In the example of Companion Bread, it shows off what our Maori model is all about. And it really defines how we're different from other bakery ingredient companies out there. It's not just providing a box of stuff uh, of ingredients, whether it's yeast or other kind of enzymes that help these products, but it's more about providing the service and the technology support that they really need. Being able to take those products introduce them to AB Mari and ask them, okay, help us figure out ways to make this product more palatable, to make this product still all natural, um, and to make this product last not only for the grocery store for a handful of days, but for the consumer when they take it home after that. So to have the resource has been tremendous. The company goes back almost 150 years. So you've got the heritage and the history all the way to the technology of today, which is what AB Mari represents. We say we're passionate about baking, and it's not just a slogan, and we really mean it.